Hi, baby dolls. My doll babies. My honey baby sugar dolls. How are y'all doing? This is your Sharon T. Slash Mama T. And today I am Dr. T because I am at my workstation and I am currently, um, I'm sorry if I seem a little uh, preoccupied, but I am currently working on, um, oh gosh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dolls. Can you believe it? Seven. But two of them are from um, my baby doll Shay from God's Blessing Nursery. I promise you, I hope I got your name right because you know I'm, I'm horrible with names. But I just um, really kind of got in, um, been out. Okay, that's what I want. Um, running a, a few errands. And um, I said I need to get in here and get started on doing some work. I have so many projects going like you wouldn't believe. And um, I need to follow my own advice. If you're jump, you know, like if you got a lot of fires going and you're jumping around with this one and jumping around with that one, you're never going to get it done. So you need to stick, you know, one one at a time and stick with it and you'll get done. And um, that's what I've been, um, been trying to do because I'm telling you, y'all, I, I have been pretty, pretty busy. I mean, I have a lot. Of things going on and I like the fact that I've been busy um, because it keeps me busy <laughs> if it makes any sense um, let me see what have I been into let me see well I don't know if I told y'all but um, a friend of mine she's um, teaching me how to crochet but um, she doesn't get on, she doesn't do the media thing. So this is kind of like a, this is either we're FaceTiming each other, but for the most part, she comes over here. So we're, um, I don't have my books with me. Okay, but I have books that, you know, we're, we're reading out of and, um, you know, studying out of that, like, um, the stitches and all that good stuff. And I really, she's very, um, I like the hands-on thing. So she's very, 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 um, detailed and she takes her time and, um, now it's a matter of us because she's pretty busy too. So we have picked out a day like, well, um, where I, my day is free and, um, we'll do an hour and a half to, to two hours and the first thing that we're going to do, okay, we got, I'm going to show you this, what she had me to get. It's, um, it's real thick, but see, we're not going to use a hook. Can you see that? We're not going to use a hook with this. This is going to be a non-hook crochet thing. So I am looking forward to that. Then she's going to introduce me to the hook. So this will, whatever the project that we're going to be working on, my oven's going off. I got some limbs in the oven. 
but the project that we're going to be working on, you're not going to use any hooks. So that way, when I do start using the hook, I'll know just where that hook needle hook is supposed to be going. And so I'm looking forward to us starting this. This is going to be, um, let me see if you can see it real good. Yeah. This is going to be kind of like a throw. So we're going to, so far she just told me, we just, she just told me to start out getting for cost reasons to buy three. So I bought three things of that. And then um, when that's about gone, then we're going to get some more. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, that will be every, once a week that we will be um, doing this. She'll be giving me little quizzes, but she's been doing crochet, oh my goodness, ever since I've known her. And I don't know why I did not think to ask her to teach me because a long, long time ago... Um, She said that she would teach me, and I just totally forgot. And I don't have to worry about her letting me down. Um, she will be consistent. And um, I'm just looking forward to that. Um, I have every size. I have so. I have so many needles, you know, crochet hooks. I have knitting. We'll also be doing knitting, but one thing at a time. And I'm just so glad that I thought of her to um, help me learn how to do this because I've been wanting to know how to do this for some years. So um, now... I, you know, I will be learning and I don't have to worry, like I said, about being, you know, her being non, um, non-consistent because she, you know, she's, I'm just, I'm just glad that she will be teaching me. What else? Besides that, um, working on these dolls because I kind of want to get my dining room cleaned up. I mean, I keep everything neat and stuff, but I just want to get these dolls out the way. So I'm focusing more on baby doll Shay's dolls than I am of my own. Um, so we got that going on my music. Um, I'm getting back into my music. Um, that has to be an everyday thing because I need to, um, you know, because of the injury and stuff, I need to, um, I just need to use my finger, fingers more and move my arm more. So if that ain't nothing but half an hour a day, it's, it's working. So I'm, I'm doing that. What else? Oh, gosh. I am so far behind on rooting like you wouldn't believe. I got, let me see how many. One, two. I got three heads <laughs> that I have to work on. I have not figured that into my schedule because after I do um, baby doll Shay's babies I want to get her dolls out to her as soon as possible um, as you know or if you didn't know she sent me two babies that I had to strip and um, so I, I'm repainting um, this is one of them so um I gave him two little tiny teeth, him cutting teeth, and Shay just loves it. Um, so I'm working on that. 
and um, this one I had to sh- strip as well. Um, now I did root the hair on this a long time ago, so she has like a little hair net on. But she was originally uh, when I stripped her down to her natural state. That's a biracial kit. So I'm I'm repainting that one. And I will be putting hair on this one. So before I finish the heads that I got back there, I will be doing Mr. Division here first because I want to get her babies out to her. Okay, what else? Y'all, I'm telling you. Um, um, I will be a friend of mine called me and she fishes. I, lo- I love to fish. So I was like, wow, I got to start all. I said, I got to start from scratch. I got to get the fishing poles. I got to get the taco box. I got to get, you know, all the things that I'm going to need because I love to fish. It is so relaxing. The problem is how am I going to squeeze that in? But she called me this morning with the best news. She said that she, I mean, she is a professional fisher, fisher, fishing, how is fisher lady, I guess. But her sons are in tournaments, so they are, they're about their business. So she called me this morning and she told me that she had two extra um, fishing poles that um, she is going to give to me and that is going to cut down on money. So I'm excited about that, but um, we have to fit that in. Um, we have to fit that in the schedule because she's busy too. Let me see what else, what else, what else. I'm, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm rushing. Um, I, and besides, you know, doing your normal stuff that you have to do around your house, um, I'm, I'm just, just been busy. Okay. On to some good news, y'all. My daughter <laughs> is pregnant. So King and Cashton will have another sibling on the way. Hopefully, this will be her last one, but she's one always wanted a girl. She finally has her girl. She is expecting a girl. And it is due. I'm um, it. She is due on my birthday. So I told my daughter, I said, now you know you got something on your hands, girl. And we just laugh. So we're excited about that. Um, Hopefully after this one, she's done. Because I told her, um, Cashton just turned one last Sunday. And, um, you know, I told her, I hope this, this should be, you know, Let's just slow it down because King will be two, three next month. And then in November, Pootie Man, which is my son's son, <laughs> he'll be three next month. So him, I mean, in November. So him and King, which is Duty Man, they're three weeks apart. I'm telling you. It's costing me. So, but yeah, I'm getting ready to be enough. Oh, wait a minute. Then I became a great grandmother um, from my oldest daughter's, uh, my grand um, granddaughter. She had a baby about a month ago, a little girl, and she's cute as she can be. So, um, they got to slow down because grandma likes to buy stuff for herself as well. Can't be spending all my money on them. (laughs) So I've been spending, 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 buying clothes, you know, things that they need. So next month I will be, um, I bought Cashion 10 outfits and then um, 
uh, King, I'll be getting him 10 outfits. But King is a little more costlier because he's in toddlers. King's getting tall. So he's a little bit more expensive. Um, and then I will be getting 10 outfits for Pootie Man, which is baby Ardell. Then I'll start shopping for the baby girl. I'm telling you, y'all. <sighs> but I will make sure that I'm able to buy myself something, some things, because I'm not spending all my money. Not doing it. Um, let me see. I think, let me see. Um, I'll show, if I can show you real quick how big. Oh, boy. Let me see if I can show you. How big they have gotten. <laughs> well. <laughs> Cashton with his sunglasses on. And King. And that's, that's, that's their father. But look how big uh, Cashton is. He weighs 22 pounds. Uh, he is heavy. But that I call him my bumpkin. So that's my bumpkins. Um, King is in one of his moods. He's always... King is moody. Very moody. Um... Adele, which you, if y'all remember Adele, that's my mama's. She's in, she's in a, um, she's on the drill team. So she's getting, she's big too. Everybody, I mean, everybody is just growing up. Let me see. This is the latest. Picture of, um, King and Cashton. So I told my daughter, and I was like, she'd be so tired, y'all. I said, honey, rather than bathing them separate, put them in the tub together and get it out the way, you know. Because she'd be tired, and she, that morning sickness is, is, is getting better, but she had it pretty bad. Okay, so is that it? I'm sorry again if I am rushing. Okay, I think that's about it probably think of something as usual when I get off of here. Let me show you what I'm wearing. You Now you already know, your Sharon T slash Mama T has always got to smell good. So I just thought I would put on my travel size perfume. It's um, Dolce Gabbana. This is Garden. And y'all Smell that. Smell it. Don't that smell good? Don't that smell good? Just know that your Sharon T slash Mama T slash Dr. T, my, my baby dolls, is always going to be smelling good. And I think that's it, y'all. I probably, I know I'm forgetting something, but what I won't forget, I just want to do a shout out to my baby doll, Irene. She is from Africa. Hi, Irene Lewis. Hi, baby doll, Irene. Big hug. Fishy kiss to you. And big hugs to y'all. Fishy kiss to y'all as well. I hope all of y'all are doing well. Um, y'all be safe. And I will try to come on a lot more. Um, I, I'm just, I just got a lot going. And I need to put things, you know, in order so I can, you know, I just got a lot going on, y'all. But um, I think that's about it. I know I'm forgetting something. But anyway, 
just know that you're Sharon T slash Mama T slash Dr. T and my other alias T's love you to pieces and to the moon and back. So with that being said, I got to go. Love y'all. See you in the next one. Bye.